What's up everybody, T. Smola here down in uh, sunny Puerto Rico. Um, some of you might be wondering, what the hell are you doing there? Um, I did not expect to come here myself this year, but uh, when you get offered a work trip down here, um, it's really hard to pass that up. All right, so I just got back from uh, a surfing lesson and from snorkeling, um, both of which I had to get over a fear of sharks, and I actually ended up seeing one uh, while I was snorkeling. Uh, that footage is right here. My work trips are a little bit different than most people's, but uh, I digress. So this part of the island, there are not very many geocaches here. Um, I'm still hoping to sneak a few in here and there. Uh, we'll see what we can do. So I apologize for the road noise. Um, this cache is like half a mile from my hotel and uh, it's the only one in the area that I can really reach. Um, hopefully this one goes better than the one I looked for this morning. Um, this one was found about a month ago and it seems to be pretty consistent. So cross my fingers. So I'm getting closer, the cache is only like 190 feet away, and uh, I believe it's supposed to be a nano, but uh, I think we can find it.
So GPS led me into this park and I was starting to get worried, but uh, I finally found it. So I started off by checking that bench and uh, I went over every inch of that bench. That's where the GPS zeroed out. And uh, turns out it's actually over here. And so there it is. It's not much, but that is my first find in Puerto Rico. So, sorry for all the road noise, but uh, I can't even tell you how relieved I am that I found that. Um, just because I have such a tight itinerary on this trip, and there's just so, so few geocaches here. This is the only one uh, in this town that I can look for today, and luckily I found it. So. I'm hoping I can sneak in a few more on this trip in some other areas of the island, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I'm not sure how well the footage turned out, but uh, right down there I saw an iguana, um, which are invasive here in Puerto Rico. I mean, it was just a little one, but uh, still kind of cool to see. Unfortunately, that was the only physical geocache I was able to find in Puerto Rico. Um, I hosted an event the next day, which was only attended by, I think, one other caching team. And they either got there before I was there or after I left. Um, it was kind of hard to coordinate that, especially since I showed up late. Um, I tried to find a multi-cache uh, at one point, and there was a sign that you had to get the information off of. And... Unbeknownst to me, the sign moved and I did not find it until it was far too late. I didn't have time to complete the cache. Um, I also tried to find a traditional cache outside the San Juan airport, or I should say I wanted to find it. Um, it was about a half mile from the main gates and I had the time to go do it, but there was a tropical storm coming in. I just barely made it off the island before that hit and I just didn't want to get caught outside with all my camera gear if it suddenly started pouring. So this was a very short trip, but it really took me outside of my comfort zone. Um, as I said, I went scuba diving, which is something I never thought I would do. And I actually earned a credit towards scuba certification uh, doing that. So you may see me pursue that a little bit further in the future. But um, I learned more about Puerto Rico in a few days than I have my entire life on this trip. And you know, I could recommend going there, absolutely. It's a beautiful place. Um, the people are some of the friendliest people I've ever met. You know, I would love to go back there sometime, uh, especially to explore the interior, maybe see some of the, uh, the caves and the jungles that are there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this really quick whirlwind tour of Puerto Rico. Thanks for watching. See you next time.